Okay, Jenna, when I say go, you're gonna climb the steps quickly but safely to the second to last step from the top. That's 14 steps. You're going to turn around and come back down. Ready? Go. Come back down. Okay, Alyssa, when I say go, you're going to stand up from the chair, walk to this small line, turn around and sit back down in the chair. But I want you to walk as quickly as possible, okay? Ready? Go. Turn around. And sit. Okay, Jenna, when I say go, you're going to stand up from the floor, walk as quickly as possible to that small line, turn around and come back and sit back down with your legs crossed. Okay? Ready? Go. Walk quickly. Perfect. Okay, Lisa, when I say go, you're going to walk to the line at the end of the hall and turn around and keep going back and forth until I say stop. Ready? Go. So we'll have the child walk back and forth for 30 seconds. And once those 30 seconds are up, you'll be measuring from the most forward foot placement. So either the toes at mid stance or the heels at heel strike. So let's stop. So here we would measure the toes at mid stance. Okay, Jenna, when I say go, you're going to walk to the line at the end of the hallway and walk back. I'm going to repeat that until I say stop. So the test will be about six minutes, okay? All right, so go ahead, start walking, go. Quickly. So the child will be walking back and forth along this course for six minutes. Every 30 seconds, you can give verbal encouragement. And as in the 30 second walk test, the end distance is determined by the most forward foot placement. So if we have Jenna stop right here, stop Jenna, we would measure it from the heel of the first foot, the forward foot, I'm sorry. Okay, let's see, you're gonna run to the other line, pick up a block, bring it back, place the block behind this line, and do the same thing with the other block, okay? Ready, set, go! Run, run, run. Pick it up, put it behind the line, and back. Perfect. Okay, so you're going to start with your heels on the line, so come a little bit more forward towards me. Good. And you're going to have your arm out straight. Good. We're going to draw a line right at the, tip, at the tip of your middle finger. And we're going to use our tape measure to measure the length of your arm, the original length of your arm, which is about 20 inches. Okay, now I want you to reach forward as much as you can. Reach forward without stepping forward. Perfect. And we're gonna just draw another line over here. Make sure it's more like right here. Okay, and, and come back. And you're just gonna measure the difference between this line and the original arm length, which is about eight and a half inches. So your reach was about eight inches, high five. Wow, you missed again.